Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. It's Randy of Father and Sons. Wait for it. Clamming. That's right folks, we're gonna try some clamming out here on the channel. Now I just got back from fishing in the Southern Outer Banks. I'm sure that video has probably already been posted. And I'm gonna go home and cook up that nice trout I caught the other day in another video that probably has already been posted. And I decided I need some appetizers. So got my clam rake. I stopped here in, uh, at Oregon Inlet actually at the same location that I caught that trout. It's the, the new Bonner Bridge Pier. And I'm just gonna give this a try. Now, full disclosure, this is only my second time clamming. So I'm not, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. And I've only got one GoPro battery left. So let's go see if we can catch some clams. Or is it, you say catch clams? I mean, they're not really like running from me that much. Let's go dig some clams. Let's go harvest some clams. How about that? All right, friends, let's get on the water. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's see if I, oh. Oh gosh, what the heck? It's a hermit crab. Can it be the first clam of the day? It feels like a promising situation. Oh no, it is not the first clam of the day. It is this monstrosity of something. All right, the elusive first clam still awaits. Am I gonna go hungry tonight? So I was doing the drag behind method. Now I'm gonna do the, the vacuum method. <laughs> or the, I guess the vacuum method is the best way to describe this. Oh, the kill your back method is what it is. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have our first clam here. I've got something under here. And it's super shallow here, so we're gonna be able to see real easily what this is. And, Whoa, it's our first clam. And it's a big one. How about that? Father and sons clamming in action. All right, let's put them in the bag. Now there's different sizes of clams and people call them different things. There's like four or five classes. And the biggest one, it like, is this weird sounding Q name. I forget what it is. They say little necks, the smaller ones are better for appetizers. But at this point, I'm taking what I can get. So what I'm doing, I've got the, I'm doing the drag behind method where I'm just putting a little bit of force, downward force here. So that way the, the tongs of the rake, the tines of the rake dig down in the sand. And I'm just going by feel. There's just this feel of them that once you hit that thud, you kind of know it's a clam. And that's what I'm feeling for here. So far, I've only felt that <laughs> once. I mean, I figure I need really a dozen would be kind of ideal. So at this rate, <laughs> I'm going to be here for a while. So Clam, this might be your lucky day. If you, if all of your uh, cousins and nephews are good at hiding from me, I may have to let you go. All right. Welcome to the party. Oh man, we are on to something here. Ho, ho, ho. This actually feels like a big one. Holy crud. Holy calamity. That's what I'm talking about. In the bag you go. Oh, a near miss. Okay. My bag is way over there. That's gotta be something good there. Oh man. It's like an oyster with a mohawk. Sup, people? Another friend for the party. Well, here's an interesting clam. Let's see if I can get this clam out without hurting myself. It's a nice, mature female blue crab, probably close to keeping size actually, but we're not in the mood for crabs. We're not hunting for crabs today. We are actually trying to find the clam bag that I put in the water and now I cannot find and the sun's going down. So I am <laughs> a little bit panicked about that. Ooh, here it is. Wow, that was kind of a close call. That, my friends, was a clam. Oh, no mistaking that. Oh yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. Uh huh. That's right. We won't catch a small here, Father and Son's fishing. I mean, Father and Son's clamming. All right, y'all, here is the deal. I got enough clams for an appetizer. However, it's late. The sun has gone down. Look at that sky over there. How beautiful is that? Well, I'm exhausted. I've been going strong since well before sunrise. So I am going to make a quick part two of this video, which is going to be maybe catching a couple more, whatever you say, getting a couple more clams tomorrow, and then we'll cook them up. So I'll join you tomorrow. Bam, and it's the next day. Now, if I was thinking last night, I would have done one of those snap transitions, but what can I say? I was just tired and the sun had already gone down. So here I am the next day. I'm actually tired right now. I've been fishing since before the sun came up. And I was back over there over my shoulder and doing really, really well. I actually left them biting. That's gonna be in another video, but I left them biting to get a few more clams to wrap up this portion of the video and I'm hungry too. So we're gonna get a few more clams. I'm gonna go home and cook them up. All right, I think we got our first one here. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. Hello clam, welcome to the video. All right, folks. Well, I think that was a clamming success and it's time to go home and cook these up. I'll see you back in the kitchen. Well, hello friends. We're back in the kitchen and I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare these clams. It's a real simple recipe. If I can do it, anyone can do it. So first we're going to start with the clams. I got 16 of these bad boys. And what I did was I just washed them off a little bit and soaked them in some water to eliminate a lot of the grit and the sand that's going to come out. But if you get a little sand in there, that ain't going to hurt no one. And then I'm going to steam them. And then I've got... I've got some water and vinegar boiling and I know you can't see me much at all. It's probably a good thing. It's helping the video right now. So I'm going to steam them until they open up. It's real simple. And then I'll join you at that point. Okay, you've seen the final product now. All that's left to do is to eat them. So we're going to take a clam, dip it in some melted butter with a crushed garlic clove. And then that's going straight in some cocktail sauce and right in the mouth. And that, friends, is some tasty goodness right there. We normally end our videos by saying tight lines. It's kind of a good luck, well wish for anglers. I'm not sure what the clamming equivalent of that is, maybe full bags. Either way, we hope you enjoyed watching this video. Everyone take care. Peace out.